Yes, uh, hi, uh, my name is Galut Tumba. I'm uh, the first author of the paper that we're discussing today, and I'm also a PhD candidate in uh, Dr. Larive's lab. And uh, yeah, I'm Bruno Larive, and uh, I'm the last author on, on this paper. So this paper is entitled uh, BNP inhibits neovascularization in mouse models of uh, age-related macular de degenerations, and uh, was published lately in OncoTargets. So um, I'm a PI at the New University of Montreal, and my research interests focus on the development of blood vessels. And uh, during my training, I've been really interested to study the molecular pathways that drive the development, but also the maturation of blood vessels. So this is quite important for many diseases, so such as cancer, and in this case, age-related macular degeneration because it's been observed that uh, in some of these diseases, not only are there too many blood vessels, but those vessels are often very mature, which means that they, uh, they are often like uh, very proliferative, they are leaky, they lack pericyte coverage, and this causes uh, many problems for the, either the tumor treatment or the tissue. So, and these uh, features of uh, these immature blood vessels are actually uh, really reminiscent of uh, what you're doing, of what you're seeing if you block uh, pathways that are involved in the remodeling of blood vessels. So one of those pathways is actually the ALK1 pathway. So uh, in mouse models, it's been shown that if you knock out these genes, uh, the embryos die very early during development, so around uh, day 11.5. Uh, uh, and the vessels actually lack remodeling, so they are actually very immature, and they don't form uh, mature arteries or veins. And this is actually very reminiscent of what I was saying earlier, in which the pathological vessels are always also very mature. So this gave us the idea to look in the in diseases such as AMD to see if the vessels were actually lacking ALK1 signaling or had alterations in ALK1 signaling, which could also lead to some of their pathological features. So this led to the study in, that we described in this uh, paper, in which we uh, decided to look at uh, BMP9 signaling in uh, vessels of uh, of uh, pathological uh, pa vessels in retina in, in the choroid. So this study was mainly uh, done by uh, Kahlo, which is the PhD student. And you can maybe describe a little bit what you've been doing. Oh, yeah. Uh, thank you. So um, as Dr. Larive just uh, mentioned, um, our study is on the BMP9 uh, L1 uh, pathway. And uh, we are um, trying to introduce it as a potential any angiogenic therapeutic target to efficiently treat uh, wet uh, AMD age-related macular degeneration, uh, which is a disease um, that is uh, that affects uh, millions of uh, people and uh, a disease that also um, <coughs> induces uh, irre irreversible blindness. And uh, this disease is also uh, quite challenging to treat, and it has a, a pathological neovascularization at the core of its uh, pathogenesis. So um, the BMP9 uh, ARC1 uh, access uh, could potentially help us to, um, to, to bring uh, a treatment to the nearly 10% of patients for, for whom uh, there is uh, no treatment exists, uh, actually. And uh, it could also... Um, uh, Relieve uh, the patients of the um, of the burden of uh, deplorable side effects of uh, any VEGF, and uh, by saying that uh, the BMP9 could uh, uh, help uh, those uh, 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 those patients from uh, things such as uh, hemorrhage and uh, uh, macular detachment or uh, or um, infections. Uh. Because we have to think that uh, most patients afflicted with wet AMD currently are treated with anti-VEGF, with VEGF inhibitors, and this shows actually good clinical benefits. 
But uh, there have been st studies in the last few years that, sh that have shown that long-term usage of VEGF inhibitors can actually hurt uh, photoreceptors because VEGF has a, or neurons in the retina, because VEGF has been found to be a neurotrophic factor for these, uh, for these cell types in the retina. So it's been shown that patients treated long-term with uh, VEGF inhibitors can actually develop geographic atrophy. So this is why there is actually a lot of interest to find uh, alternative pathways to modulate uh, angiogenesis uh, in wet AMD. And this is part uh, of the reason why we have became interested in uh, BMP9, so which is an alternative pathway, which is very efficient to, to, uh, to block angiogenesis, but doesn't go through VEGF signaling. So we hope that long-term treatments of uh, BMP9 or ALK1 agonists could prevent uh, the growth of new blood vessels, help uh, mature these uh, blood vessels. But it is our hope that long-term treatment would not have adverse effect on photoreceptors. And this is actually the follow-up studies that we're going to do to see if long-term treatments with um, BMP9, what effect it has on photoreceptors to really show that it doesn't uh, adversely affect them. So long term, we hope that uh, this could help. Uh, this could be a good uh, alternative approach to, to treat angiogenesis in AMD patient. And uh, Yeah, and um, uh, how the, the approach, I mean, that we are trying to introduce here is to, uh, as uh, Dr. Larivet has just mentioned, we're trying to, um, to modulate this uh, BMP9 uh, ALK1 uh, access so that we can uh, indeed treat, uh, efficiently treat uh, with uh, AMD. And um, in fact, uh, the result from uh, the paper that we're just discussing today have uh, shown, have mainly shown that uh, this axis, BMP9 uh, ALK1 uh, uh, axis, has a, 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 a any angiogenic uh, effects on uh, the pathological neovascularization um, in the eye. Those studies have been done uh, on mice. And uh, more interestingly, it also shows that uh, this axis, that the activation of this axis uh, potentiates the effect of uh, any VEGF, which is uh, a great uh, thing, a great news. And uh, even more interesting, this uh, axis doesn't have, uh, uh, has no significant effect on the, uh, the required, the mature uh, vessels that are already in the eyes and uh, mm -hmm. that are the normal vessels. For all these reasons that we've mentioned, in conclusion, we would like to uh, introduce this uh, BMP9 L1 uh, as a new uh, therapeutic uh, target to efficiently treat uh, with uh, uh, AMD, and uh, we would also like to, uh, in the future, to go uh, deeper into the specific uh, mechanism. Uh, that's what we're currently doing now, to trying to uh, to 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 examine uh, uh, all the steps of uh, this uh, pathway and to understand uh, everything that goes on uh, uh, upstream and downstream.